Shalai Shalom, Israel. This is Nakaman. And Brother Adonai. This series is going to be called Quick Cuts. This is Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. Go ahead. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrows, and is a discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart. So, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, answer some questions, all right, through uh, a series of different videos. We're gonna get straight to the answer. So we're gonna basically uh, pose a question that either we've been asked or questions that people have asked before. And we're gonna give scriptures that are gonna be quick and powerful and precise, straight to the point. All right, uh, so with that, we say Shalom and we hope you enjoy the series. Here is the quick cut of the day. Can we eat pork? Matthew chapter five, verse 17 says, Think not that I am come to destroy the law of the prophets. Mm -hmm. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. This is the Messiah. He has not come to destroy the law of the prophets. So we have to look at what the law and the prophets have to say. Let's look, start with the law. Leviticus chapter 11. Let's read verses 1 through 4. Then jump down. Read verses 7 through 8. The book of Leviticus chapter 11, verse 1. And the Lord spoke unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on earth. Whatsoever parts the hoof and is cloven footed, and cheweth the cud among the beasts that ye shall eat. Nevertheless, there shall ye not eat of them that cheweth the, cheweth the cud, or them that divide the hoof as a camel, because he cheweth the cud, but divided not the hoof, he is unclean unto So you him. have to have all these characteristics. You have to part the hoof, have to be cloven footed, and chew the cud in order to be eaten. If you don't have one of those things, then you are considered unclean. Read verses 7 through 8. And the swine, though he divided the hoof, and be clothed footed, yet he chewed not the cud, he is unclean to you. Right, it says, and it says swine there, right? It's the same thing as a pig or a hog. Go ahead, verse 8. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. Right, so that's what the law of the Most High God says. Let's see what the prophet says. Go to Isaiah chapter 66, and let's read, starting at verse 15, and let's go through verse 17. And what you're going to find is that this has not happened yet. This is a prophecy that has not happened. This is um, something that will happen in the future. This is why we don't eat pork. Go ahead. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. All right, the Lord has not come yet with those chariots and with, the, and with that fire. So this is future. Go ahead. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. And then he's going to start describing who those people are going to be. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh. Eating swine's flesh, which is unclean. Go ahead. And the abomination uh -huh. and the mouse mm -hmm. shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. All right. What you're going to find is that eating swine's flesh is, an, is abominable. All right. It is an abomination unto the Most High. Now, can you be abominable? Can you... Uh, deal with things that are an abomination to the Most High and make it into his kingdom? I think not. Revelation chapter 21. And let's read verses 7 and 8. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Mm -hmm. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable. And the abominable. All right. You are abominable if you deal with things that are an abomination. Go ahead. And murderers. Mm -hmm and whoremongers, mm -hmm. and sorcerers, mm -hmm. and idolaters, mm -hmm. and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So the quick cut answer for the day, can we eat pork? No. Shalom.